We look at the farmers, many of them quite willing to put these wind turbines on their land because they see the value of using Mother Nature and the world around them. When we first started wrapping our heads around this project and going to other wind farms and looking at these things, they just was so awesome. And now that they're here, I just can't wait till they start spinning, you know, because right now there's all this money just sitting here waiting to be captured, some energy captured, you know, so uh, we're anxious to see some of them get in, get commissioned and get going. It's a frustrating thing as a county commissioner when you'd, when you'd love to see more jobs and more opportunities, especially for kids graduating from high school, they go off to college and they don't come back to Vanwood County because there's nothing for them to do. There's not any opportunities. And we're oscillating back and forth between eight and 10% unemployment in the county. It's nice to see economic development. It's, it's huge for, for the county. There'll be millions of dollars in new local property tax revenue from this project. Um, in Van Wert County, the Blue Creek Wind Farm will be the largest single taxpayer in the county, and in fact equal to the current top 14 taxpayers combined. That extra revenue that comes into the county from people in hotels and motels, housing and entertainment, and just a spillover business, it's a game changer. Since Iberdola Renewables has started buying concrete from us, we have increased our sales by 450%. This has definitely brought us back to pre-08 conditions and even exceeded that. Be good stewards of our area. There are something like 24 different local contractors who are doing work on this project. A lot of people in this community who can say, yeah, I helped build that wind farm. And the wind turbine money will start to come in. It's like pennies from heaven for the guys at Crestview. This is my 37th year in education, and I don't think I've ever seen a source of revenue like this offer itself to the school district or a school district. It's really a windfall for us, <laughs> and, uh, and we're looking forward to the benefits that it, that it will bring. We were very pleased to be approached by the wind industry as their educational partner, um, as uh, provided for in Senate Bill 232 in Ohio. The Iberdrola Renewables support for us in this partnership has allowed us to launch our Alternative Energy Academy. We actually have three phases of construction going on right now. We are developing so that we can meet the needs of the workforce. We've got to have more energy and uh, that, that's a given. We're, we're all consumers and when you, when you look at your daily life and all the things that you're involved with, we have to have it and those wind turbines are going to go someplace, you know. And if they're going to go someplace and there's going to be an economic benefit derived from that, then I want to see them here in Van Wert, absolutely. For a county our size to, to get $2 million, excess of $2 million in taxes, uh, it's, it's just off the scale. It's above anything you could, you could hope for from one entity. Once they're in generation and once they see the tax flows it brings to the community, you know, I, I expect other communities at that point in time is really going to, and I'll use the term, get hungry in order to have wind turbines placed in their communities also. Anybody else got anything on safety? Everything that they had promised to do has been done. Everything that we asked them to do that needed to be done to continue on is done. If people decide they want to work together for the growth and the betterment of the community, it can be done. I wanted to spend my time finding a way to produce electricity in a better way, a way that's cleaner, a way that has more local positive benefits. Uh, it doesn't get any better than wind energy.